Crystal of Atlan has just released this global beta, and this isn't your average clone of Genshin Impact. The key point here is that it's not a gotcha. Imagine Genshin without that. I never did care for Genshin Impact due to all of its annoyances, including the farming, gotchas mainly, and the developer providing a general lack of support for the community over the years. I am fully convinced that this game has the capacity to emerge as the next greatest thing, one that could potentially kill off Genshin partly or even entirely. Currently, the elements that distinguish this game in contrast to Genshin Impact is the absent number of pay-to-win features, like an inclusion of a gotcha system and tediously hard to farm materials. You are in no way obligated to purchase items or characters as you start off with one of the four characters, each with their own archetype which can be changed at any time. This does mean that you will have to create multiple characters if you want to level up but each character does have two archetypes. These things might be changed and could potentially be exploited for financial gains towards their player base in the future but as of the review right now in beta it possesses only one thing and that is story gated energy which will be something that you can purchase when the feature is available. This is very uplifting and wonderful to see, a free to play game that is actually free to play and even with the energy bar you can still do so much farming without anything holding you back until you are capable of gearing yourself up with better equipment for the next day. Every single aspect of this game is executed flawlessly. Although certain elements of this game may feel like they were taken directly from Genshin, I am not bothered by this. As opposed to feeling like a stranglehold, this feels more like a community due to the visual presentation of the combat, the world, PvP, and the overall emphasis on community content. The music is appropriate, the voice acting is really good, and every single female character is not sexualized in an excessive manner or even at all. They all seem to appear mature, appropriate, and unfanserviced, so I really have high hopes for this game going forward. I tried this game on a mobile device, a controller, and PC controls. It did feel like the PC was superior due to the manner in which you initiated your combos and how much more comfortable it felt overall, though this most likely will be based on your personal preference. I have to say that the gameplay feels exceptionally engaging and brimming with fluid animations. You are allocated a maximum of 9 skills out of many different choices as you level up. No, you do not have to pull or buy characters. You start with a starter and then you build into 2 changeable archetypes at any time you want. Since you possess 4 starter characters, you can play up to 8 different classes. Each class has a lot of abilities, something that is wonderful because it allows you to make up your own powerful combinations as you advocate 8 skills and 1 ultimate. This makes chaining combinations in a desired order quite simple since when one skills off cooldown, the other one in that slot will take its place, at least for the PC version. One notable aspect of the present gameplay is the absence of substantial impediment. When your energy is depleted, you may still revisit previously visited regions in order to farm and complete tasks such as defeating foes, bosses, farming material, and constructing equipment until your energy replenishes the following day. I really enjoy this type of gameplay. It goes without saying that I hate the vast majority of gacha games, as their sole purpose is to exploit players for currency in any way possible. There are numerous methods by which one can generate revenue from a game without impeding player progression intentionally. Although the story cannot be continued once you run out of energy, you can still continue to play the game by engaging in PvP, completing events, and battling with other players. 